Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alana. If you are new to my channel, I have been seeing some makeup trends already for 2021. One being that 80s vibe, very blown up blush look, which is what we've done today. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start off with my favorite BB cream of 2020 and obviously 2021 so far, the Note Cosmetics BB cream in 02. On a regular basis, I would wear 01. But since I did a fresh layer of tan, I'm gonna put on 02. It is beautiful. It's definitely a fuller coverage than your regular typical BB cream, but the finish is perfect. It's buildable. You can mix it in with a moisturizer if you want it an even lighter coverage, but the coverage it comes in is perfection. For an extra bit of coverage, I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Custard and just go on areas that just are peeking through and slightly blend it in with my finger, making sure it doesn't look too cakey but it still looks like a nice even base i'm taking a really small amount of that same concealer and i'm patting it in the inner corner of my eyes i don't want to use a super light concealer just because blush is going to do a lot of a lot of things for our face but i just really want to soften the look of my under eye rather than like brighten it if that makes sense using a very small amount of translucent powder. This is the DMK one, which if you're really oily, you will love it, but you have to go to a skin clinic that sells it. But I also love the Laura Mercier translucent powder and obviously the Charlotte Tilbury pressed one. So just use whatever you have on hand. It's really just to make sure everything stays in place. And if you're oily, even combination skin, you still wanna use it. If you're dry, you can just skip this step. I think before we go on fully to our cheeks and the blush, the star of the show, I'm gonna do something kind of fun with my eyes. I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Shadow Stick. It has obviously a matte side and a metal side. The matte side is very lilac-y, so I'm gonna go with the metal, sh metal shade <laughs> just because this is gonna be a little bit more of a, a shimmery, it's gonna have a shine to my face. Like my face is gonna have a shine, so naturally I just thought let's just go all over with shine. So I'm gonna take the metal side, which is definitely a lot more pink, and I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelid. See how it goes. I'm gonna just do that much and then buff it in with my finger, going up and out. Okay, it's definitely not as opaque as I thought it would be, which is good because we're gonna be putting our blush over our eyes anyway, so it will be a nice, shiny, glittery base. I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. I did have to layer it a couple of times to get that, so I think this is more beneficial probably as a liner. When it came to picking the blush, we will come back to that as I promise, I was thinking of what blush to use and whenever I think of blush, especially like an 80s vibe, this I know it's a trending look at the moment, I think of Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like she always does that like over exaggerated blown out blush. So naturally, I'm going to be using a Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush in Love Glow. I actually wore this one on my wedding day. It's one of my all time favorites. It's just a classic pink blush. It does have a little bit of sheen. There's a lighter pop in the center. We're just gonna start with this and then I think I might go in with a cream blush on top just to make it look a little bit more skin-like. We're gonna start with just a little bit. We're gonna build it up. So I've obviously not even put on bronzer or anything, but I'm just gonna work it in from the outer corner of my eye right here around the temple and up into my forehead that's kind of the area i want to start working with i'm almost contouring with it i'm also going to bring in my eyeshadow with it buff it in make sure to get in that hairline so there's no harsh line. I feel like this was a good blush pick just because it's not super intense. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to sweep it over my nose. I don't want to concentrate in the center of my face, but it's just going to make the look cohesive. Moving on to another Charlotte Tilbury blush. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to use the Climax. This is definitely more of a neutral tone blush. Cannot talk. A neutral tone blush. We're going to slightly contour with this. So I'm going to use the outer ring and go in the same area but kind of stick to the bottom section so we're not using a bronzer 
but we're going to use just a little bit more of a neutral tone blush just to give us a little bit more dimension as you can see compared to this side it kind of looks like a floating face where this gives us a nice cut and hello our cheek is back now at that middle color i'm going to just hit the high points of my cheek that's going to give a nice glow keeping it in that blushy tone though okay feeling very blushy but it's still i feel like it's still wearable what do you guys think like it's it's a blush it's a lot of blush but i'm feeling it now like i mentioned i think i'm gonna go in with a cream blush just to amplify a couple different areas definitely need my hair out of my face for this part this is the shade petunia from stila absolutely love their cream blushes as you can tell it's a pop of color which we want i'm just gonna use my fingers to warm it up but I'm not gonna go straight on. I'm gonna go on the back of my hand first to kind of dil dilute the color even more. Putting it on so it gives a little bit more of a wet, you know, glossy finish with a little bit more of a pop of pink. I think putting it on your hand first eliminates it being too much right away. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick curl of my lashes. I haven't curled my lashes in ages. This is the Japanesque uh, eyelash curler. Mm, don't know if I'd rate it because the insert right in there has fallen out so many times. Oh, so has my mirror. Then going in with my all-time favorite mascara, Why I Sell the Shock. And I want my lashes to be voluminous. So I'm going to be very careful with the first layer, making sure I've spread out all my lashes. And then wait just a couple seconds, go in with a second layer and really make them voluminous and just full looking almost like i'm wearing fake lashes again if you've missed it i have been using uk lash serum so it's really really helped with making my lashes nice and long i'm also going to put a little bit of the mac giga black extended play mascara on my bottom lashes and now who am i going for bottom lashes like every tutorial so far i did just get the new nars air matte lip colors in the mail yesterday so i thought Let's try them out on camera. So there's six. I know for sure that these two will not go with this look. There's like a, a reddish one and then like a super pale one, which I feel like the pale one would be like a topper. I don't think I could really rock it on its own. So out of these ones, I'm gonna kind of look in. I feel like right away the middle two are screaming to me. So let's go with the middle two. Okay, I'm gonna start with Iconic Nude. I think I'm gonna go with Joyride. It looks a little bit more muted. Oh, it's still quite intense we'll see oh that feels really nice that feels really nice on your lips i actually feel like i'm gonna add a little bit on my eyes as well i feel like that could tie in the look a little bit more i feel like that makes all the difference that's the color i was missing up there I need like more of a corally pop of brightness okay i actually love that i kind of want to blend in a little bit more of this shade, which is Chaser, it's a little bit more mauve like a purpley undertone. So I'm just going to put it on the outer corners. It's really pretty mixed, actually. Can't leave this one behind. I honestly should have just done the whole look with these air matte lip colors because they blend out beautifully on your eyes and cheeks. Oh my goodness. This is not going to be for everyone because it is an overload on blush. I don't know if it's really even picking up. I always feel like the camera washes it out a little bit let me come up nice and close i'm in literally in front of the biggest window ever so it's gonna wash it out a little bit but hopefully you can see there is a nice warm rosy tone obviously there was no bronzer used so just a little bit of that darker neutral blush to contour let me see if i can take the exposure down hold up okay that's a little bit better just to kind of give you a more accurate idea of what this looks like this is totally right up my street because you guys know i am obsessed with blush don't be afraid to put whatever's on your lip on your face as well if it's safe to go on your lips it should be safe enough to go everywhere else so definitely play around with your lipsticks in case you don't have a blush shade similar to what i used let me know what you want to see down in the comments down below i don't know if you've been seeing that like intense amount of foundation trend that like makes you look like a doll if you have and you want me to do that i would be terrified but i will for you guys i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll chat to you soon bye